Cerberus HTD versus FOC. We'll go ahead and take a look at the the RD setups as well during the game. Um, I'm hoping for a, a a good fight. It should be a good fight, and we'll see what the points are, man. If the points on the the left side of the map, ooh, it's gonna be tough for the uh, American side or the Allies. Let's see where is is he? Is he is easy? Oh man, it's it's looking looking crazy. So we'll go ahead and get out the way so we don't cause trouble. Go into admin cam here and make sure we get all this. And there you go guys. So HTD and FLC. It's gonna be a good game. The midpoint is Southern Edge as we look at the map for Cerberus HTD. They have a uh, road to Raccoon and Kobu Factory as their points. And for FLC, they have uh, Eastern and Forest outskirts. So it's kind of like top left to bottom right. It's gonna be interesting, man. The the whole map is gonna be played in this one we'll we'll see how uh both teams do as we look there's a recon tank you know uh looks like three trucks are in the middle for for cerberus we'll go ahead and uh Try to follow. Let me see. I can't see. There you go. I want to follow one of these trucks as they as they get in, man. Thirty-five seconds. We'll take a look at everybody. We do have Commander Sebo uh, or Sebo. from Cerberus commanding today take a double check at the map the Luke's is on the west side recon on the east side and the Panzer IV in the middle match start is, is about to go and here we kick off As they take a really direct approach to Southern Edge, as you can see down there. It does look like there is a another Luke's might be down in the in the middle right here. We've got a few guys on top of the trucks to see if there's any tank snipes. You can already hear artillery popping off they're about even uh, FOC they have a tank a tank and two trucks coming down right now artillery hammering the midpoint we've got HTD cliff Laying down hate. One FOC truck goes down. We've got a bunch of FOC guys uh, up there at the village. That's a key area. But right now, Cerberus HTD, they are capping the midpoint. We'll go ahead and take a look. On FOC side, the steward is right here covering, but Cerberus HTD, they do have the Luke's covering the midpoint as well. 
and now the the mid cap has has switched. It's it's about even right now. It's they're they're contesting it for sure. As we take a a bigger look, just right here on the west side, this little village is is a key area. It seems like FOC are committing a good amount right there, but Cerberus HTD they're capping the midpoint right now, slowly but surely. We do see the Puma right there flanking. We've got... It's gonna be a meat grinder right now, man. Oh my god. Cerberus HTD, they're still capping the midpoint. They've got the the guys but FOC they're they're right there as well man right here on the east side we'll take a look as we have Chegs and Gatra but some FOC guys are are coming in right now FOC have turned the tide they're re they're capping the midpoint. Cerberus HTD almost had it with at the uh, 1 hour 23 minute timestamp. We see a good a good spawn right here. Cerberus HTD they do have a OP right there at that little broken house. But as they spawn Cerberus HTD they're starting to recap Southern Edge. Artillery is coming down. It's it's gonna be a fucking meat grinder. Rockets flying. The Luke's is still up, and there is a steward right there. We'll take a little big bigger look at at things. So right now, Cerberus HTD they've they've capped the midpoint. They've capped the midpoint, but FOC are starting to cap Southern Edge, but right they're they're making a play. Cerberus HTD has a fucking full squad at Eastern right now. As FOC ADC and uh little FOC little brother, they're rushing to come back. At an hour twenty two. Cerberus HTD are making a statement right now. A flare goes up over Eastern. They've got about two squads worth. They might, they're gonna cap this Eastern. A big spawn wave from FOC coming back to reset and make sure that second point does not go down. But it, it might be hard. Let's see if uh, Cerberus HTD guys are able to hold it down. As they do have a Puma support. Holy shit, this FOC probably didn't see this coming. Supplies do drop down. I believe that's American supplies, so FOC. But Cerberus HTD, I think they're gonna cap this. If they win their gunfights right now. Templar and Baumi. You know. HTD D man flashy they've got an OP right here and there you have it Cerberus HTD take the second point they came in with a plan and they've they've executed so far right now FOC doesn't have they don't they're struggling to get back into the point. I believe they have a garrison over here. An old garrison. There is an FOC member right here. He drops he drops down a an OP. He does have supplies there. But Cheggs is out there making plays, dude. 
So right now, FOC, they do... They do get a little break. As... One FOC member... Takes down two guys. HCD Balmy is the only one left. Only for a short time though. It's being contested. Cerberus HTD, they're they're on the second point right now. Holy shit. We'll take a look at the map right now. Cerberus HTD, they they've got good good Garys right now. Uh they they have Commander Sebo on the west side. Uh no no Garys at Eastern, no OPs at Eastern, so they might struggle with this one. If you look a little bit back over here, we've got like two riflemen at Forest, but I think FOC will be taking back Eastern. Uh, that must be a very sweaty moment for them, you know, with, with Cerberus HTD capping the second point within like 15 minutes in the game. Um, again, welcome guys, as I'm looking at the chat, thank you guys for uh, tuning in. Today we have Cerberus HTD versus FOC. This is Hell Let Loose Seasonal, 49v49. As we look, Cerberus HTD, they've, they've reset uh, at this Gary. They do not have a Gary over here. They do have supplies, but... As we look over there, uh, FOC Sniper is holding holding that area down. They do have a Panther pulling up on the eastern side. Uh, the Panzer IV is kind of covering that this main road over here. We'll go ahead and take a look at the let's see the FOC uh, artillery as. FOC does take back Eastern. Right now they've got two guns. Two guns running. Uh, pretty basic setup. Nodes. There they, they've got some barricades on the side. And then we'll go ahead and uh, take a look at Cerberus HTDs. artillery they've got three three guns running uh, doesn't doesn't look like any rocket snipes are happening so yeah we'll we'll go back go back to the action we take a look at the top view uh, Cerberus HTD they've they're really spread out we do have a uh, classic over there Possibly trying to get to those supplies over here to build a Gary. The Panther is is on the western side, but it's looking good for Cerberus HTD, man. We'll go ahead and uh, take a look right here as we see some of the gunfights. See Altair, Cracky, Wizan. But FOC's MG is being brutal down here. He's locking that road down. Classics over here. Is he is he gonna be able to get to? He's got an OP down. I'm assuming he's one of the uh, attack squad leads. But you look at Cerberus HTD's line. They're they're getting there. Uh, FOC, they've they've got a good uh, defensive setup. Um, it just takes time time to move through these fucking vast fields, man. It's not a lot of cover, but with the map being full night, uh, I'm not I'm not too sure how much dark cover you will have. The Panther is right here getting shot right now. I know he saw that one. I believe 
should be from a 76. He does go down immediately. There should be a a tank on Eastern, I believe. Yep. We do see a a jumbo right here taking down the Cerberus ACTD Panther. As we look from the FOC side, they've they've pretty much it's just textbook stuff. Everybody's pretty much spread out. They're trying to get into Southern, but man, they're they're having a hard time as we see HTD HT, Baumi come in. He's gonna He's gonna meet. He's gonna meet this tank. Let's see if he can take the tank out with uh, his rockets. But artillery is hammering down on this on this area right now. It's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard for both teams. If we look on the west side, FOC they do have some guys trying to. Possibly take control of this little village right here, man. That that village is is pretty key in my opinion. So taking southern map control could be a very big thing. FOC are very well spread out. We'll go ahead and take a look over here at this little warehouse. As uh, Jesus, his squad might be here with the uh, Lionheart. got a great great defensive line going right now great defensive line so we'll go ahead and take a look a lot a lot of the guys are spread out um, we'll take a look at the map Gary's are placed pretty good for Cerberus HTD as the southern edge is starting to get contested we've got about maybe let's see if I could count right like 10 people around 10 people uh, covering southern edge it's looking like a plane planes flying over P possibly a bombing run bombing run straight down Metal right there. As you see, Abraxas, Abraxas trying to uh, come in. Doesn't take out the too many people. There is a uh, medium tank down there. As we see, supplies for FOC dropping down. FOC have they've kind of taken over this little warehouse area as you see as you see um, flares going up you see Jesus right here Altair Ben let's see how how much they fare Ben's over here fighting the fight I guess exploded. A satchel goes off at the warehouse. Uh, right now, Cerberus HTD, they, they still have control over Southern Edge. Uh, the attacking pressure for Eastern is not present right now. They're just trying to make their way over there. As we look over Southern Edge. This is artillery. I haven't seen any uh, rocket snipes or anything. FOC, they do have something over here. Let's see if there's any garrison over here, but they've got an MG watching. We've got some HTD guys over here in the forest. And look what we have here. We've got D-Man, Fake, 
and uh, Ellie. They're just walking right past the FOC members. This is where a lot of the the fighting is the the meat grinder part portion of the matches is gonna happen. Araxis, he's still trying to uh, push up and see if he can't push these guys out. You know, you can see him crawling right now, but he's he might be running into some. Some artillery shells, as we do see a a seventy six right here. His line of sight is pretty good on the point. We'll take a look at the map. Uh, there is a panther coming to help Southern Edge. As FOC, they've they've got two guys covering the the jumbo right now. Let's see if he sees. We're we're about right here. That jumbo is marked. So go ahead and uh, take a look. It does look like they're making progress. As you see. Cleriker goes down from FOC turn. Araxis has moved his OP a little bit closer. The eastern side, it does look like a tank. A tank is pushing up. There's a Panzer. A Panther right there. I don't know if he's going to be able to see Stuka coming in. It drops down, it does not, I don't think it takes out that empty, empty uh, 75. The 76 is being engaged right now. Maybe by AT gun, Let's, we'll see. If you look to our left, the Panther should be right there. Panther's being engaged by, by AT gun, yeah. ahead and take a look I don't know if that panther sees the 76 that's straight ahead panther goes down by by that 76 that was over there or that is over there as he crawls back into his little hiding spot as Cerberus HTD they're pushing out over there That's been a second Panther that's gone down, or that's been taken out by FOC. They've gotten control of the east side. I know the Classic was out there. They're getting really close to their garrisons. Really, really close. Take a look at the east side or the west side. The garrison's still right here for HTD Cerberus. We have FLC Woohoo right here, probably putting down a OP. It seems like both teams they their their intent is to have map control. We have a Luke's right here. Let's see. He gets sniped immediately. I don't believe in the streamers curse. Because in this game, everybody just dies randomly. We do have FOC forever. Back here with uh, Commander Sebel. Let's see if... If he goes up here. 
Did we get... Did we get something? <laughs> He's just looking. As a uh, Sebo waits for him to come up. But forever does I don't think he knows he's he's here. Go ahead and uh zoom out to the action. Cerberus HTD, they've they've got a pretty good hold on on Southern Edge right now. I'm liking it. Hey, how's it going, Hom? Thanks for tuning in. And everybody else, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for the follows. We'll go ahead and so we get back into here. FOC, they've they've got some guys on the eastern side over here. We do see two snipers actually. Uh, we've got Miracle. As we look right here at Cerberus Ben. I'm not sure if he sees the guys over there, but he is looking looking out over here. FOC, they're they're starting to push on this eastern side as a flare goes up right over southern edge. Garrisons still look pretty good. This I believe there was one somewhere right here, but that has been taken out. Uh, we do have Cerberus HTD Recon at FOC's Artillery. As we get Little Wolf. Let's see if uh, Flashy will be able to see anything. Little Wolf has made it into that broken house. I'm sure he sees it as Frozen and Flashy, they're pushing up to this little house right here. Let's see. Little Wolf gets, gets some help. Lanetto making his move right now. He knows somebody's there. Little Wolf throwing a grenade. Little Wolf taking out Lanetto. He gets taken out by artillery as... I think there's a... There's an AT gun right here. There is an AT gun from FLC with a steward right there. They've got, they've got a really good line of sight on the point, actually. Yeah. But right now, Cerberus and HCD, they're they're holding it. Uh, this eastern side is starting to fall a little bit as FOC they're winning the gunfights on that side. We see some people spawning. I believe this is. Maybe a garrison. There is a repair station right there. Another panther is up. He sees shots coming from somewhere. He knows that. There's a AT gun or that steward shooting from afar. Oh, he's actually shooting at the 70, 75? Or 76? FOC starting to cap Southern Edge as we do see the Stewart push up. Lanetto is there. A good spawn wave from, from the Cerberus HT, HTD side. 
FOC, they do have a OP somewhere right here. But the cap progress has been lost. The The steward is still here. As we see, I think a rock snipe coming out right now. Yeah. Cerberus SETI. FOC knocking on the front door. Getting hit by artillery. As they are pushing up from the south side and the east side now. No worries, Smith. FOC pushing hard as they are winning these fights, especially with the little steward. I believe the garrison should be somewhere over there. A lot of artillery is coming coming down right now. Take a, take a look at the map. All these OPs are lighting up. The garrison is right here. We got three servers, HTD. OPs in the point. They've got a reinforce going on. So the steward has gone down, so that might be game changer right now. But FOC, they've got a AT gun face directly at this side. So they could see pretty much all this side or whatever is viewable. FOC, they're already in the point. They have taken down the garrison and there's no OPs on Southern Edge. 58 minutes to go until match, match end. We do have one HTD member still there. He hasn't put down a OP yet but we do see Cerberus HTD trying to get back to Southern Edge to make sure it's good a bombing run is coming in for Cerberus HTD clearing the pathway Very good bombing run from Commander Sebo. But the 75. 75 has pushed up to help the uh, cap. Right now, Cerberus HTD, they're defending. They're defending, but there is a OP right here. As MG Fire just takes all of them out oh my god the, it's this is a fucking meat right here FOC coming in strong man using that using both tanks to their advantage they've got 270 76s pushing the opportunity right now FOC They've got one Gary over here, but they've got a couple OPs lined up, but they're not winning their gunfights right now as FOC, they have pushed up both tanks to help capture. This is a great opportunity for them. That OP is still up right now. Oh man. Let's see if FOC can uh, can cap with this opportunity. They've they've committed two tanks already, so and they're still up. If we look on the map right now, there is the Panther on the northeastern side. Uh, I believe a Panzer IV is coming down mid spawn right now. But FOC, they're making it they're making it look good right now with the team. 
team cohesion. They've 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 communicated and they've pushed up with both tanks and infantry. As FOC drops a bombing run to clear out that main road, trying to see if they they can get something rolling. Takes out one guy. It might have been one of those sense of security bombing runs, but FOC looking good. About to take Southern Edge and Cerberus HTD, they've they're kinda on their heels right now. And there we have it. FOC they do take the midpoint. Southern Edge has fallen from fallen to FOC. And right now let's go to uh Cobru. We do have FOC forever capping the second point. What Cerberus HTD did to um, FOC earlier. Oh my God, they they do take out forever. But like I was saying earlier, what Cerberus HTD did uh, beginning of the game to FOC, they're they're trying to do it back. Um, of course, both of them, they didn't hold out t for too long, but FOC taking the uh, midpoint. We'll go ahead and take a look at the map, Gary placements right now. Um, Cerberus, HCD, and C2, they, they've got a Gary right there, and D3, a Gary. It's kind of like a good line right now. Uh, King Squad, uh, Cerberus, Ellie. He just built a Gary over here in what is that? It's H H5. They've got some good OPs to retake Southern, but right now the They've got they still got 276 in the mix covering. They they have a fucking third one right now. So three tanks covering Southern Edge. They've they've all moved up. They do not want to lose Southern Edge, so they're they're kind of bunched up together. You see one right there. You see one right there. You see one right there. As FOC, they're they're starting to push back. Push back Cerberus HTD. take a look at the map again um, pretty condensed right here uh, no OPs lighting up we do see some supplies supplies and two tanks moving up to the village to secure that the Panther that was that was on the field for Cerberus ACD it was right here it has been taken down the Panzer 4 is on the main road uh, next to Foy. But both tanks, they're... This is a great look on the FOC side, man. They, they're they communicating with their armor and like, hey, we're, we need to secure this. Or whatever the, the case might be. But I'm liking the uh, movement uh, as a team. I've noticed this with a lot of the uh, Chinese clans that play Hell at Loose competitively. They, they, they move as a unit, man. Uh, very good communication on, on their side. We do see Sven right there and uh, Hylion, Cliff. If FLC is able to push up this road with those tanks, uh, they could get a lot closer to Cobru. Take a look right here. So this is what 
they have to work with. They've got a tank literally covering the main road right now. As FOC's artillery is starting to hammer down on this objective, I think, you know, you, you drop the arty, soften it up, push up the tanks, push up the infantry, and you're literally like, what, 100 meters? 150 meters from Cobra? Right now, when we're looking at the top view, FOC, they've they've got map control over Cerberus ACTD. This is the eastern side. We've got a couple guys just sitting here covering southern edge as artillery comes down. This game has been pretty much a meat grinder, man. We do have Hyperion right there. I don't know if if Izzy is able to see him. But he is... He, he's out in the open field. Takes down Izzy. We do have Jesus over there right now. A couple of the Cerberus HTD guys are over here on the far western side. As we see FOC Eric and his teammate kind of come up there so this is kind of where some of the uh, the action is going to be um, it's going to be key for Cerberus HTD to retake this this village But it's starting to look on the east side over there, the northeast side. They're getting they're getting wrapped by FOC. Excuse me while I take a quick water break. Alright. Oh my throat was getting dry. Welcome to stream guys, uh, today you're watching Cerberus versus Cerberus HTD versus FOC. The beginning of the game, Cerberus HTD, they've, they were off to a good start. FOC showing a lot of, a lot of discipline, a lot of uh, ex experience to the game you know resetting making sure they get everything in place and then now they have taken southern edge and their next their next goal is cold brew factory as we see some of the guys we do have some gunfights right here Cerberus, uh, Cerberus HCD and FOC, they're fighting on this west side. Take a look at the map right here. They've got four garrisons up, five garrisons up. Uh, doesn't look like anybody's really using this one over here. But there is a, a small fight on the west side. This village, there hasn't really been any progress with it as we'll take a look over here we've got Alex over here covering the field FOC they've kind of got this this little portion locked down too as they're running through the field I believe that's a spawn wave that just came out from Cerberus HTD.
let's see how Cerberus HTD reacts to um, them losing Southern Edge. We do see a let's see another tank coming down the main road, passing through Southern Edge. We'll go ahead and take a look at. Oh my. FOC has quite a bit of guys over here on Eastern. Take a look at the FOC artillery. Pretty standard. They've only got two guns running right now. And as we zoom straight through. Passing through Southern Edge. We do see uh, Floki on the MG. We'll go ahead and uh, take a look. We've got some FOC guys on this side. There's a FOC engineer right there. As we do see FOC ADC. FOC ADC takes down Izzy. Let's see if uh, Barney McMash takes down ADC. But right now, Cerberus HTD, they've got one gun going as GSAC is the one running it. They've got FOC has Rocky right there. I wonder if he's going to put down a, an OP. Oh yeah, he does have an OP down. This is a little cluttered right now as Cerberus HTD, they're, they're holding FOC, um, but I really want to see how they approach, how they approach Southern Edge. We see a spawn wave right now. Let's see if Lord Jack sees him. Lord Jack doesn't see him. Lord Jax taken out. Two members of FOC. He's surely going going to see this. He set up in a such a good position. Let's see when they spawn. Oh, he doesn't see them. No. FOC pushing up slowly. They've got, they've got a hold of some people like Rockies over here at Foy, but he hasn't really moved too much. As we look on the western side, we do have Ellie right there facing off with Forever and uh, Eric's OPs. But it's looking good. There's no airhead that I've seen gone over. I don't think FO, uh, Cerberus HTD have, have used an, an airhead. Uh, this little village right here is really hard for um, for Cerberus and HTD to try to get to right now. As we see Lenny bust some shots. Is he going to throw a nade? Oh, he tossed, he tossed a nade. Just overshoots him. We do have a... a rocket going out. Oh my god. As they're trying to help the western side, but...
FOC, they're starting to get closer and closer to uh, Foy. You get into Foy, you get into Cobru. I do see Seti right here. As FOC member takes him down. Sounds like there's a tank right here. Artillery coming down next to the tank gets blocked by a tree. Oh, that's a 75. Yeah. He's throwing smoke. As we get into some of the action right here. Great artillery from Cerberus HTD. Thirty-nine minutes left to go. Um, it's it's looking good for FOC now. They've reset it from the initial start of the match, and Cerberus HTD they haven't had a answer to retake Southern Edge. FOC has a 75 or 76 covering right here. Looking straight down. He's kind of been sitting here uh, earlier in the game. As we see, they haven't really made too much progress other than FOC pushing up from north of Southern Edge. That tank is still there. We'll take a look at the Gary placements right now. Uh, a lot of OPs for Cerberus HTD in the E4 sector. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six Garys. Six Garys going on right now. Um, we'll go take a look over here right now. It doesn't seem like Cerberus HTD is using this Gary too much. But Fake takes out uh, Axile of FOC. But FOC, they've they've got answers to the the uh, Whammo OPs. One of the one of the seventy sixes probably goes back to get some more ammo. But it's looking like Lenny. Lenny's trying to make his move onto the village. Ellie, Ellie. Okay. I apologize. Thank you. It's been a pretty pretty consistent fight over here on the western side. Um reminder guys that I am on a 30 minute delay, so I appreciate you guys coming in. FOC starting to make their move. They do not have tank support over here anymore. As we see Floki and Araxis. I don't think they see Yubio. He's just sitting up here. Shooting at people, let's see. They've gotta know he's up here. As he takes down one guy. Araxis is probably coming up for him. Araxis is making play, taking him down. FOC starting to come in the more covered area. They don't really have a lot of people at the village right now as we... They might have shifted more of the guys 
over here on the far western side. You do see some artillery coming down, but both teams have made it a point to try to eliminate it. We do see a yeah a uh, a panther just right there. As we see one of the H HTD members come out, kind of scope out the the area with the binoculars. FOC have they've they've kind of broken through through here a little bit. We do have uh, let's see, Florians and uh, Cheezus. They might have an OP right there. As you see, Ben, he's in the factory with the MG. FOC they're they're slowly getting in there. Big rocket from Ina Batui. I'm sorry if I ruin your name. One of the FOC members. As we start to see some of the FOC members push on this west side. I have to take off my glasses. It's starting to hurt my, my head. FOC, Cerberus, they've been going at it this whole time, man. It's, it's been a a big meat grinder right now as we look from the top you do see a good line from Cerberus HTD we'll check out the map right now they they still have all their nodes up um, 691 munitions uh, 800 manpower and 280 fuel I haven't seen a uh, an airhead from both teams this this whole game or at least from from what I've noticed we've we've got uh, some fights right here let's see how this goes one guy does go down All these little gunfights, they've they've definitely become interesting. Right now, Cerberus HTD, they can't catch a break. They're trying to look for that that opening, that opportunity. Let me take a look. A great arty shell coming down from Cerberus HTD. This is great arty work from them. They're just gonna, they're just gonna camp that OP right there. The 76 was getting engaged by the uh, Panther. 76 is moving back as we do see. We do see uh, Commander uh, Sabo. He's running straight into some FLC members. Goes down immediately. He he probably knows now that there's an OP or something over there. Let's see if he marks it once he uh, gets back. Seeing some smoke coming down. We do have a uh, a rear OP from uh, from Ellie. Let's let's see. I'm not gonna go up close. I I don't want to be blamed for the streamers' clash. So 
as we look from the top view, Ellie's squad is starting to push from the southern side. We do have FOC forever right there. He he does go down, but he could toss up a a flare to see what's what's going on. This could be big for Cerberus HTD. Let's see if Ellie could could create a good opportunity for them. Oh, the uh, the OP does go down. And um, the garrisons are still pretty much the same. I believe this one's a new one. And Cerberus A City did have a garrison over here. They currently have two Panthers. Actually, oh, a satchel goes off. I believe it takes out the the medium tank that was previously there. FOC has a has armor somewhere that's just wrecking everybody. They do drop a a flare over the southern side. A great precision strike from Commander Sebel. Taking out that tank that was covering the, the southern side. It was probably a call out from uh, Cerberus Lionheart. Or, uh, yeah. We do have a bombing run incoming from, from Cerberus HTD. Clearing out the path, maybe Araxis is is able to push up with a OP. It doesn't really take out too many people. Smoke is coming coming down. As we look, we'll go ahead and look near Cobru. Cerberus A C D got they They've got the defense locked down, man. This game has been pretty pretty even the whole time. Let's see. Let's, let's, let's get a little emoji game going on. Um, Cerberus HTD, they're, they're trying to make their move. We do have 27 minutes left in the match. And just to recap a little bit about what happened in the beginning. Cerberus ACD took the midpoint, immediately started taking the second point from FOC, but FOC coming back strong, recapping the second point that they are that they actually lost, uh, taking out the, the OPs as they start to take the second point, they make a move on the midpoint. Of Southern Edge and here we are now where FOC they've they've kind of showed their uh, their team team cohesion with the armor and the RD and the infantry it's been pretty good for them so far as we see some of the FOC guys At the village, we've got some flares going up from FLC. There is a there is armor right here. Let's see on the map. Uh, Cerberus ACD. They do have one Panther on that side. At one point, they were pushing up with two or three tanks just to gain gain position, just to gain uh, the territory. Let's take a look at Eric right here. We do have artillery coming down. FOC, they do have a OP right here. Oh my, my goodness. <laughs> Got absolutely wrecked. 
right here Cerberus HTD they haven't gained too much ground it's kind of just been a back and forth fight from this little sector right here to that village we do see some some tank marks coming um, FOC they're starting to contest Cobru a little bit they're actually capping They they only have about like five guys. It's not too much. As we do, let's let's take a look at the tank gameplay. We do see the 76 getting shot. Oh, I think the Panther goes down from the 76. Oh my god. But FOC, they've they've been kinda been tank dominant on this game. As the other 76 pushes up to cover this one. I believe this one was getting shot at. I'm not sure from where. Oh I think an AT gun does go down. FOC, they, they did this exact same tactic where they had two armor push up with the uh, infantry to cap southern edge. And man, yes. This has turned around. 23 minutes left in the game. FOC, they're starting to cap. Cerberus HTD's second point. Right now it's being contested, but we start to see supplies coming down right on the 70s. Oh, an airhead actually. An enemy airhead coming down right on the 76. The 76 is going to cover it, but he has like five guys trying to come. I They've got two tanks covering this this airhead and some infantry. But a grenade, a great grenade, probably from HTD Cliff. No, it's not from Cliff. It has to be from somebody else. A grenade coming out, taking out the uh, the airhead of FOC. Great play by Cerberus HTD. But right now, you know. We're looking at the Garys. Uh, this rear Gary has been, has been taken out uh, for from Cerberus HTD. Uh, the second point, Kobu Factory, is getting capped right now, or it's getting contested with little to nothing progress from Cerberus. Actually, they're getting closer with with FLC committing to more of the western side of this side uh Cerberus HTD they they've got a little opening right here and I believe they're they're using it let's see let's see if they could push up we do have a Cerberus HTD AT gun right now as FOC, they're starting to cap Cobru just by uh, proximity and uh, the the tanks. But with that being said, uh, Cerberus HTD, they are starting to cap Southern Edge as well. It's coming down to it, guys. It's it's about even with cap progress. As we take a look on the. Cerberus HTD front. We'll go ahead and uh, check out Miracle. He has a squad lead laying down right here as Cleriker takes him down. This could be a great opportunity for Cerberus HTD. We do have some FOC members resetting uh, the, the defense as they spawn in on the point. Uh, Cap Progress does go, go back to uh, defending for 
FOC, but FOC they're they're putting pressure on Kobu right now. They've got a goddamn tank right there. They've got two fucking tanks right here. As FOC is starting to push up. A flare goes out. From FOC. I think they're they're prepping to make their move. As we do see uh Cerberus Ellie over there. If he can take out the OP or a spawn over there, that could be really big. We do have HTD uh, Cliff still hanging out here. Lanetto. Flashy. But dealing with these two tanks could could be tough. Uh, FOC, they they have stopped the uh, cap progress. It's a great showing from both teams. 19 minutes left. We'll go ahead and go take a look at the progress on Southern Edge, FOC, they they have reset it. They've made sure that Southern Edge doesn't fall. As we take a look over here, there's little firefights, but Cerberus HTD, they that window of opportunity uh, has, has closed for them to push. This might come down to the last ten minutes, man. These. I would say both of these teams are, are very, very balanced and uh, even. The 76 is putting a lot of pressure onto Cobra right now. And, you know, if we look at the tank, there is a Panther coming out of the middle spawn as FOC, they're starting to cap Cobra. The armor pressure is, is immense right now. You know, we have 176, 276 right there. As we see Cerberus Barney, he's trying to take out that, that tank, but these these two tanks have been have been here for, for a good minute. The garrison is still up at Kobu Factory. Let's see if Julo could could drop a satchel on here. He's got the assault class. HTD Julo coming in as FOC, FOC tank members. They they recognize that he's coming into satchel. It's good to see uh, Cerberus HTD. Bringing, coming up with these uh, these answers. As FOC, they're still capping Kobu Factory on the west side over there. Cerberus Ellie, he's they've taken control of that western side. Right now, it's it's still being contested, but there should be two tanks, two tanks up here right now. So, something just exploded. As this tank, he's getting shot from the ass right now. Let's see. Oh. He there's an AT gun. Great play from Cerberus HTD. As they do take out the uh, the 76. I thought it was a tank, but it's an AT gun. Great play from um, from Cerberus SETI. FOC, they're still capping Kobru right now. They have made progress into uh, the southern side of Foy. But Cerberus HTD, they're, they're defending. 
as FOC they're about to lose a second a second 76 great shot from Barney and Lanetto of Cerberus HTD we'll look at the the fuel right now um, 160 fuel 438 Yeah, like four four thirty uh, manpower, uh, one ninety seven munitions for Cerberus HCD. Uh, if we look back here, there's a little sneaky Lenny. We do have FOC's commander that's over here, but I think Hammer Hammer might uh, take him out. FOC they're they're still capping capping uh, Cobru, but Cerberus is defending. As let's see if Lenny gets an OP down. This could be big, man. With 14 minutes left to go, we've got some FOC members coming back. Hammer does get taken down as uh, Lionheart is just behind him. We do see uh, Cracky coming in right now. As Lenny, Lenny does get taken out. He does have OP over here. But FOC, they're they're pushing up. They've kind of made their way into uh, Foy to approach Kobu right now. Again, thank you guys for uh, joining in this cast today. Uh, this is a hella loose seasonal game. FOC versus Cerberus and HTD. Right now, FOC has the advantage. They've kind of pushed up really good. We do see D-Man over there at the village. It could be good for them to get something rolling over there. Right now, it's it's gone back to a stalemate where no points are being capped. We do have some of the FOC defense guys. Man, they they figure out where everybody's coming real quick. It's good work on them. They're getting spotted by the uh, MG actually, so. Let's see if Ellie is able to make a play as grenades go out, but a big spawn comes in. Then he is still up. He still can put a uh, OP down. That's a great reaction for them. As we look over here on the west side. FOC, they've they've got something over here. I don't know if there's it's probably an OP. Man, they've they've got a big spawn wave. Lenny, you're about to meet a lot of people. He knows the um Supplies are there, and that was a really late shot from uh, the FLC AT gun. D man's back here, being a pain. Um, we do have Ellie's OP right there, a wide one. Uh, Cerberus HCD, they do have a garrison right there. They've got four garrisons up right now in the uh, blue territory. A lot of them condensed in uh, Foy right now. Uh, nobody immediately close to Cobru. Uh, Cerberus HTD have done a good job to push them all back out. We did see a attempt on a an airhead by FOC with both 76s trying to cover it, but it was foiled by a grenade from one of the Cerberus HTD 
members. So great play on them. Um, let's see what the the uh, the armor does does th this time for FOC as we we have nine minutes left um, they've got it pretty well balanced right now um, you know a couple of people over here the artillery hasn't really been a factor both teams have have been on each other's asses uh, when it comes to artillery uh, during the beginning of the game it was pretty brutal like you couldn't really get anywhere like uh, Cerberus HTDs uh, artillery game is is real nice. I really like it. They they've got good calls, good fire missions. Uh, but right now, um, Cerberus HTD they're they're on the the short end of the stick, man. They've they've got to find a way to try to get that that midpoint. If we're looking right now, we do have a Panzer IV and a Panther. Kind of spread out. Uh, the fuel, they have enough for another Panther. 640, uh, 577 manpower, uh, about 500. They are putting a precision strike. Let's see, on, on a tank. Ellie probably... Ooh, 76 is moving. The 76 was moved. It was, it was a pretty good call. As the 76, the 76 is getting shot. The steward is on the move as well. Ellie does go down. Uh, right now, Cerberus HTD. They need to, they need to jump on that horse and start. Start galloping to uh, Southern Edge. Cobra right now is is in really good shape. The fight's kind of just been in uh, foy right now, as artillery is coming down. We do see see some some fighting right here. Julo makes a great play. Let's see if he gets another one. He gets another one. He's got to know something's here as uh, FOC Codex falls off the roof. Gets taken down by, uh, I think, Frozen? Frozen, yep. Cerberus HTD, they're winning these gunfights right now. I'm sure they have a... OP somewhere right here. As we look, Loki is coming up right now. Sets up the MG. Oh, he doesn't see him. He's Loki goes down immediately. Six minutes left to go. We do not see any Cerberus HTD guys anywhere. As we check, there's a FOC member coming down. Great play, great play. Artillery is back up for, I believe, both teams. Uh, maybe more for the. FLC guys, but we've got our artillery strike or artillery mark for from uh, Commander Sebo of Cerberus HTD. They've got to do something, man. It's it's five minutes, a little over five minutes to go. FLC Cerberus HTD. Hello Loose Seasonal, I believe this is stage 2, uh, the map is Foy Knight, this has been a fucking meat grinder this whole game man, and I would say taking advantage 
of opportunities was what made or break this game because both of these teams they're they're very even uh when it when it comes to skill in my opinion it's just been a fucking meat grinder bro do you hear a uh allied armor over there Take a look at the map. It looks like it looks like the commander Sebo's going for a airhead. Straight on the point. There is a 76. As we do see a recon tank and the Panther start to move up. We've got we got ally ally supplies. Oh. Let's see if this works. We've got smoke coming down. Oh man, if this shit works, this will be fucking amazing. Let's see. D76 is starting to starting to turn right now. Let's see as the FOC members start to start to come down with the airhead oh my god that might be it for for serb it's probably one of the most ideal things that that you could do in this situation because uh both teams they've just been duking it out since you know the the 130 mark. And God damn, dude, this this game has been really intense, man. Uh, FOC's uh, armor definitely, I would say, um, worked very well with their infantry. When I did catch the Cerberus HTD tanks, they were kind of on their own, whereas the FOC tanks were with a, a infantry group or with a group that was that that had a mission you know that that wanted to move push up but they just needed that little extra push uh with 30 seconds left to go uh it's looking like foc is gonna take this one for the for this match it was a great try from uh, Cerberus HTD. Both teams have played very well in this match. As we do start to see FOC start to cap. Cap Cobru, but that's it. That's pretty much game right there. As. Jesus tosses a grenade that takes out the airhead. We do have a Cerberus HCD bomber run going down. Great, great job from both teams, man. I'm really digging it. If you guys have any uh, questions about the tournament, uh, just go ahead and type HLL Seasonal. Um, man, FOC versus Cerberus HTD. It was it was back and forth this from the beginning and then to the end. It's man, both both teams are amazing. Uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at the scores for Cerberus and HTD so we'll go scroll down on the left side and then on the right side
So yeah, man. GG's to both teams. Um, Cerberus HTD FOC. FOC takes the the win, three two, full game. It's a great matchup, man. It's a great matchup. We'll get ahead and say GG's. And um, and yeah. It's been a great showing from from both teams, but FOC coming out on top. Um, Cerberus HTD. If you guys go back and look at the VOD, uh, they had the advantage in the beginning of the the game. They were they had a, like they had mans on second point. So yeah, um, thank you guys for watching the stream. Um, be sure to follow both both uh, both teams uh, throughout their journeys in just the comp scenes. Uh, I really like uh, the both teams, man. They they're they're really good. Um, it's just that FOC just came out on top this time. But um, I appreciate your time. Thank you guys again for uh, for joining the stream, and we'll catch you for another cast. Have a good uh, weekend. Have a good, you know, holiday. Have a good, whatever you're doing. Just, just have a good one. My name's City, and um, if you like today's stream, why not give me a, a follow? All right. Have a good one.